Well, it looks like I got that garden shed done just in time for some winter storage. So you know what? I think I'm going to head south to Cary, North Carolina. Now, Tony Caldwell wants to learn how to be an artist. And as a matter of fact, so do I. Can you imagine decorating your home with this beautiful painting? Seems like that chicken is perched right on top of that frame. Well, believe it or not, most of these are created with stencils. Now, I'm no artist, but I've been told even I'll be able to turn out works of art like this. I'm about to find out as I arrive at the home of Tony Caldwell. Ron. Good morning, Come Tony. Come in. Welcome. You? Thank you. Great. How are you? Very nice. Oh, this is a lovely house. Thank you. Very interesting. This is an octagonal uh, living room over yeah, here. Yeah. The man who built this room actually won some awards for it. Really? I yeah. can see why. Tony has big plans to decorate the walls of her daughter's room, so we've agreed to meet at her house for a lesson. Our instructor is a friend of mine, an accomplished stencil artist and teacher, Janet Phelps. You know, when I first saw that work in your house, I thought it was all hand-painted. I was amazed to learn that that was stenciling. Well, that's the new trompe l'oeil. Janet went on to explain that trompe l'oeil is French for trick of the eye, which is the effect we're trying to achieve. First, we pour out dollops of artist's acrylic paint. Then Janet shows us the basic brush strokes on regular paper. When you load your brush, you must always wipe it off so that you don't overload your stencil and it runs underneath your stencil. And the first stroke that I'm going to show you, you hold your brush perpendicular and you make just circle strokes and it gives you a very smooth finish. And then we're going to do the stipple stroke. And that's straight up and down. This is pretty simple so far, isn't it? The secret to the convincing lifelike wall paintings we're about to create are these precisely cut thin plastic stencils. So what I want you to do right now is find overlay one. Our paintings will require three or four stencils, or overlays. After being taped in position, paint is applied. The first stencil is then removed, and a second overlay is taped in position, using small dots as registration marks. It's a little pinhole with, marked with an R. After painting, it's replaced with overlay three, and so on. Each overlay uses a different paint color. Plastic stencil sets like these cost between $10 and $200. They can be used not only on walls, but also on mirrors, frames, and accessories. I'm, I feel like I'm creating a masterpiece. I feel like a real artist. Tony and I are ready to reveal our paintings. It's almost magical. Ta-da! Wow. There's just one more detail to add. What I will show you now is putting the shadows in. And if there's a hard part in stenciling, this is it. You run down the side of your bucket with your angle brush like this. Shadowing takes a steady hand. But it's done right, it pro. really adds dimension to the picture. Very good. I really feel like a pro now. Well, I think they look wonderful, and I think you're both ready to move on to Alexandra's room. Now we head up to Tony's daughter's room to apply our newly learned skills. Tony paints her heart stencil, while I start on a goose. <laughs> At least it'll look like a goose when it's finished. Once again, we mark our registration points for each of the successive overlays. having the best time. Oh, wow, that's really looking beautiful. Janet helps Tony with one last detail. Up here, that's beautiful. Slowly, easy. Oh, how beautiful. It's magnificent. All right. Look at that. Huh? Beautiful. Even better than the last one, it I think. It is perfect. 
I paint in some grass and then add shadows to the goose. Just in time for Tony's daughter, four-year-old Alexandra, to add her own touch. We're all very pleased with our creations. Oh, he's wonderful! I am so excited about what we have created here, Ron, today. It's, it's really fantastic. It's going to cut loose now and stencil the entire house? I am ready to stencil the house and the world. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me over. Thank it's you very much for coming. It was a great day.